So EDP 445 is officially back in the news once again, unfortunately. <coughs> now, why you may be asking, it's because he recently did an interview. By the way, can we stop with these interviews? Call me Cameron, then Oompaville, Gideon, like you guys do know you're just paying his bills, right? Like, you know you, what you can do if you're someone like him with that money, right? Like, stop giving him interviews. In fact, let's just stop talking about him. Like, I, I really am just done bringing him up. But apparently, in an interview, he retracted his apology. Now, before I get into the clip, I actually had a conversation with an EDP defender. I've always seen pa them passing by in comments, defending EDP. Most of the time, I either assume there's some child who just got a phone or just some idiot who's never seen the EDP videos but saw that they're funny and they don't want to accept the fact that he's, in fact, a cupcake hunter. That's the best way I can frame it. But anyways, here's that clip of EDP defending himself, saying that the apology was not meant towards us the subscribers but at, or i was a former subscriber but to his family so a lot of people think that um and i think he even touched up on it a little bit early on is that a lot of people think that um i simply made the apology video <laughs> you know that it was an apology towards the haters and all that shit no no no, no. me personally i made that apology video and it was directed towards my close friends that I hurt directly. You know what I mean? Um, I have what? I think what? I have like three. I have like two, three goddaughters. I have a nephew. Um, I have like five, maybe six really close friends of mine that I can name off my fingers that, um, you know, regardless if I was, you know, regardless of what had happened, my actions um hurt them badly severely you know what i mean and so um i felt like me making that apology video was more so an apology towards them you know what i mean so the, because they just because i did see i saw some youtubers talking about it they said that you did admit to like talking to like a 13 year old girl that you made that apology but so the apology wasn't for that what so i'm, I'm kind of confused like no, the apology was towards all the people that hurt directly. It was to my friends that I hurt directly. It was set up, bro. That's what it was. How were you set um, up? How was I set up? Well, I mean, if you go back, dude, and if you look at the video, man, I mean, these motherfuckers clearly um, lured me to um, an enclosed, well, not an enclosed, but more so like a um, like a secluded area and shit like that, dude. And um, the entire thing was. Uh, Again, man, I'll say this from day one, dude, and nobody can ever change my mind on this, dude. Um, the entire thing was predicated and based on hate and jealousy, dude. You know what I mean? Um, because, um, I mean, you get motherfuckers, I'm not sure if you know who he is, but you got motherfuckers like Master at Work, you got all these other, uh, uh, other people, Cold Raven, fucking f who do football. You know what I mean? And talk football. They basically try to they basically try to be like my ass in, in the content that I do, but they weren't really successful at it. You know what I mean? And so they were jealous because I was able to I was able to um, bring a fuckload of money in. Do you think you were talking to like an older girl or do you think she was 13? Next question, bro. Now when I called EDP's apology disingenuous. I actually surprisingly got a couple, not a lot obviously, but a very few amount of comments and I also had some people, I also saw some people saying this on Twitter, making YouTube videos saying this apology was good, that they, and none of them were saying EDP is innocent now, they were just saying that the apology is good enough to start reforming themselves. And I was like, you do know that this happened two years ago, EDP has been lurking on the internet for those past two years. Why am I going to all of a sudden think he's now reforming himself and doing good when it's been proven that he's not? Especially because a couple months ago, he tried coming with the lie that, that it was all fake. And to me, I think this video is further proof that EDP is never going to be genuine. I don't care if he apologizes and admits that what he did was wrong. But this was basically his BS U-turn. He's still trying to make a career on the internet. He's still trying to make money. Unfortunately, idiots like the person who interviewed him gave him the money. And so unfortunately, we're back to where we shouldn't be. 
where EDP is making income from the internet. You know, and, and that's so unfortunate that this guy who was proven to try to harm a child is just out there on the internet and has now an audience and is making money because he's this controversial figure and people want a bit of that revenue. And I, look, I myself, I've had EDP in my thumbnails, my titles. And so I can say that, yes, I am I'm a part of the problem, which is why I want to make this the official final video. But I just want to make this video clarify that I was right. I was right. This guy's a dis disingenuous piece of shit, and he shouldn't be trusted. You know, because if you look at that apology video, it's pretty clear that he's talking about everyone, his subscribers, the people that watch him, and he said he was taking full accountability. But I guarantee you that half the reason... Or not half the reason, but most of the reason why he didn't say exactly what he did. Because that was my curiosity. I'm like, if you are accepting accountability, if you are accepting all that, then why aren't you saying what you exactly did? Because when I apologize for something, I say it exactly what I did. If I stole someone's, I don't know, McDonald's fries, I'll tell them, I'm sorry for stealing your McDonald's fries. Because that way, not only are you apologizing, but you're also admitting what exactly you did that was wrong. EDP didn't do that. He just said, I'm taking accountability. I'm taking this. I'm taking that. And I'm sorry to my friends and family. And I think at one point he said subscribers. And that's why I think, honestly, I think the people who took his apology genuine, I, I think you're a little ridiculous. I get being sympathetic. I get all that. And even if it was genuine, see, this guy should never be on the internet. Never. But unfortunately, we live in a time where that's not possible. Is I'm sorry, even $100, because I think he charges $150 for an interview. Even that's a lot for someone of his caliber, someone of his potential of danger. You know, and that's why it really upset me that he said this, because he was given an interview. He was given this. And that's it. He just, now he retracts his apology. But people are going to still run with that thing of... This felt like a genuine apology, this yada, yada, yada. And I feel like part of that is because Colleen Ballinger's apology just dropped. So people, you know, especially for someone of as bad as EDP, they were expecting a horrible apology video. You know, because Colleen with the ukulele, you know, you had David Dobrik once having an apology saying we need to talk and then he disabled comments. And so EDP's apology itself, talking about the apology video itself, wasn't seen as bad but his actions because i always say this actions speak louder than words no matter what you know and edp can't be forgiven you know and look i know people say oh but god can forgive everyone sure yeah god can forgive him but that's up to him and god you know but us the people on the internet because the people do control the internet you know, Barbenheimer just happened. I guarantee you those movies wouldn't have made as much if it wasn't for the internet. But us in the internet can't forgive him to where he can have a platform. Because if he does, look what he had. He had 2 million subscribers and he threw it away to me, a child. For things that I don't even want to say. You know. And at the end of the day, it's unfortunate that we live in this kind of world. And again, this will be my last video on this because I do not like talking about this. I also feel a little sick right now. Um, but I think it needs to be said, stop falling for EDP, stop falling for this, stop falling for that. And I know most people, you know, most sane people know that he's an evil monster. EDP can't have a normal life. I know he doesn't have one right now, but it just feels like recently it's been slowing down to where people are, were being sympathetic and then, you know, just kind of being surprised that he said this, even though. I felt like this should have always been seen. It should have always been seen as this was going to unfortunately be the next thing he was going to do. Anyways, enough about that. You know, he's guilty, whatever. I think people were just being stupid. But oh well, everyone makes mistakes. So, well, except EDP. That guy does not deserve a second chance, at least on the internet. But anyways, let me, let me read uh, on Reddit. So to give you a little bit of context to this guy, this, and obviously in Reddit, everyone's anonymous, but... I, I was I was just going th because it was a video of EDP that I found on Reddit and I was wondering 
uh, what do people think? So I went to the comments and I saw this one guy defending him. And I had saw some comments saying, he's not this, you guys are just jealous. He was like de saying that Chet's evil and yet yeah, Chet's a bad person. And he was saying that EDP's innocent and he was saying that he's innocent because chat logs can be faked. And so let me read a couple of his messages. And the reason why, and I got into a little bit of an argument with him because I wanted to see what is it like to defend a guy like this because I've never seen anyone defend him, neither in video format or nothing like. Every YouTuber says ADP is a bad guy as he's been proven to, to be a bad person. Even people in his personal life, Felipe, cut ties with him. Even ADP in his, in his apology video, he admitted that a lot of people cut ties with him. So let me read a little bit of what he said. There's no mountains of evidence. What chat logs? How do you know they weren't fabricated? I need real proof. Well, and this guy was asking, could you send me the, the, the chat logs? But all the people were responding with is, just search them up. They're not that hard to find. You know, which makes me believe this person is either some teenager or some kid that just doesn't really know about the EDP situation. Although then again, later on, it's proven that he does know a little bit about it. What it seems to be is he doesn't know what the chat log said. So, um, and not only that, but, but I, I think it's also possible that EDP just has some some burner accounts. I think that's also very possible. I mean, if Kevin Durant does it, then I believe EDP would. But it's crazy, you know, just search up the chat logs. And, and the thing is, and I'm, I'm going to bring this up before I read the rest. In the video, in the Chet Goldstein video, Chet reads off the messages in front of EDP. And not once does EDP say that I in Texas, he always admits it. He even at the very beginning admitted the girl's age, you know. But anyways, and it gets a little creepy, this EDP defender. He says, they are jealous because he makes more money than them. Ugly redhead racist ass motherfucker. I want to slam and bang that predator poacher's head against the fucking cement for being a racist piece of shit. He initiated a setup that failed can that guy do anything right jesus christ well it didn't fail because edp's life has been ruined it just didn't it just didn't do what it needed to do which is put him behind bars because that's where edp should be but it is crazy because he makes it very personal which makes me really think that this isn't this this is potentially edp himself i'm just gonna say that, that because i i don't know why I defend someone like that you know but anyways um it's not defending it's called being realistic I mean, I'm not jealous of EDP. Like, I can go right now, go to a convenience store, and no one would recognize me. And even if I got recognized, it's not like anyone would kick my ass because it's not like I've ever done anything that EDP has. EDP, unfortunately, and he's even talked about it. It was in a video a couple months ago where he was ranting about how he lost YouTube. And <laughs> in his rant, he said, motherfuckers can't even go to Carl's Jr. without getting asked, what are the allegations? Like, he said that. And that makes me think, was there a story that he went to Carl Jr. and he was getting harassed by teenagers? Like, I'm never going to have that. No, just, just saying. But. Um, and then this is when I started arguing with him. And I said, it's been proven. Like that. That's why I was curious about the EDP defender. But he says, what 13-year-old I don't see or I didn't see a 13-year-old in the video. And how do you know those chat logs weren't fabricated do you believe everything you read on the internet you gullible fuck now this guy get you can tell he's getting frustrated that's why i do think it, it's edp or potentially edp or maybe someone that knows him someone that just or it's potential is just a kid that really loves edp um but it's funny because he kind of retracts what he says later on but remember in the chat logs and edp and the video admits that this girl that he was talking to he believed was a 13 year old girl that's something that's undeniable, you know. But anyways, now this one's long, but that's what she said. Um, but this is the final thing. He says, he's a proven danger yet hasn't been arrested. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of people that are on Chris Hansen's show that only do like a couple months. You know, unfortunately, the justice system doesn't do well when it comes to cupcake hunters. You know, a lot of times they'll only get to like two years, five years. In fact... It's very odd that cupcake hunters do less time than murder. And I'm going to say it right now. Cupcake, I mean, first, first of all, both of those should never leave prison. Never. Murderers and cupcake hunters. But I'm sorry, I'm going to say cupcake hunters are infinitely far more dangerous than murderers. You know, like I was reading about this guy who was a teacher and he, 
he um he saw that there was a, a cupcake hunter living next door to him and he took it very personally and this was a guy who was on the registry this was a guy who had gone arrested twice in the 90s in 2007 and this guy was just free and at most i think he only did seven years you know and he even did something to his daughter you know you can go search it up it's this very interesting story i'll try to link it in the in the comment sections but that guy was free to roam and you know what happened the teacher shot him in the head killed him because he saw that the guy was looking at other kids um, and that guy ended up doing 20 years 20 years or i think more it's potentially more while the ch the cupcake hunter only did seven years for two cases don't act as if the justice system is perfect wonderland that's perfect and arrest the actual criminals when a actual cupcake hunter only got seven years a proven cupcake hunter while this guy who killed that cupcake hunter who was potentially going to do more things to to kids and he was it was even found out that that guy had a had a playground in his backyard even though he didn't have kids and he did a service to society and got 20 years don't act as, as if the justice system's perfect shut the fuck up you sound dumb as fuck bro once again he's behind uh once he's behind bars i'll believe it and I'm not sucking up to him. You are. You're defending him. And you're literally threatening to kill another guy just to defend this pedophile. And he is a pedophile. And I'm not scared of saying that word because I'd rather let everyone know the truth rather than making a couple of dollars on YouTube. Uh, but he says, I believe it. And I'm not so uh, or he said that. He's weird for thinking it was a minor. Look, he admitted. He, he says in the previous comment, he's like, what 13 year old? I didn't see him 13 year old. But then he says thinking it was a minor. So you yourself just contradict yourself. What do you mean it's weird? It's it's not weird. It's evil. It's beyond weird. A 30-year-old guy going to meet a 13-year-old? What, are they supposed to actually do something to a 13-year-old in order for you to think a person's evil? Like, no, I'd rather stop these people before. Before. You know? Um, but anyways. Um, I feel like this is a guy who watches, like, To Catch a Predator and defends the, the criminals. Like, he's like, no, please don't arrest them. No, they're innocent. Like, I guarantee you. I feel like this guy is the type of guy to go to, to um, Bakersfield and, like, do a hashtag free EDP protest or some shit like that. Um, but let me read the rest. If we're thinking it was a minor, he's on some weird shit for that. But legally, I hate when people always bring up legally. Stop bringing up legally. We're talking about morals here. We're not talking about legally. We're talking about morals. In some states... You're allowed to get into relationships with 16-year-old girls. Guess what? Morally, we find that wrong because it is morally wrong. Just because it's legally doesn't make it right. If right now they said legally, like Japan, Japan legally, I think it said it was 14. I think I could be wrong about that. But in Japan, it says 14 years old. Does that all of a sudden make it right? No, because we have morals. We, we have morals for a reason so that we can protect the people around us. Just because something's legal doesn't mean it's right you know that's why we talk about morally because what edp did was morally incorrect and wrong and evil that's why we treat edp the way he's meant to be treated because what he's doing is morally wrong not legally like don't get your four-eyed dork kind of type you know like you know what edp did was evil and just i don't get why be so pressed about defending edp you know but he's not or he would have been in jail and registered as a sex offender. Again, the story I brought up earlier. If, if that's the truth, then why was that guy just, just did seven years for, for doing things to children and especially his daughter? So I searched it up. I think it's on this channel called The Villains. I just found the video yesterday. Interesting story. Um, oh, crap. I clicked out. <laughs> uh, so until that day comes, he's not a pedophile. So you have to be either in jail or in the registry. I feel like there should be more. You know, like if I had a friend that told me that he's into this girl that's under 18, I'm immediately labeling him pedophile. I'm not going to just wait for the cops to show up. No, if he if he is attracted to anyone under 18, then you're a pedophile immediately. Like I'm not going to wait for the judicial system to come knocking down your door with a sledgehammer. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm I'm going to think you're a pedo and I'm you're going to leave my life because I don't need people like that in my life. I don't need these, like, these EDPs in my life, you know. But, um, <laughs> and 
and I'm worried about the people in your life coming on the... Okay, so I, I did tell him that I was worried about, you know, the people around him knowing that he's defending a cupcake hunter, you know. Uh, and I said that, and I won't lie to you, I probably shouldn't have gone that personal, but I don't care. Some random Redditor. Uh, <laughs> and I'm worried about the people in your life coming on an app to talk shit about a person who don't even know you. I mean, you're just saying that you wanted to kill Chet Goldstein. Like, I'm sure Chet doesn't know you. You know, and I was just telling you that it is a very, it's a big concern. Like if I'm an uncle or cousin or whatever, I'd be very concerned about this guy if I found out that he was defending EDP already. Um, <laughs> coming on this app to talk shit about a person who doesn't even know you. Um, good thing I'm doing it on YouTube now. Uh, wasting your time and effort on something that's not even worth it. You could waste your time about talking about actual shit you like instead of talking about this dirt ball. I'm not defending him. Oh, so now he's talk. He is talking bad about EDP now. I'm not defending him because EDP is a piece of shit. But is what you're doing putting EDP behind bars? No, shut your bitch ass up because you're wasting your time on meaningless nonsense. Well, the thing is, usually that that is what I do believe. A lot of times, the internet stuff happens and it means nothing. You know, like whether H3H3 H3 or Team Star in a fight, that doesn't matter. But this is a different case. This is a guy. Who was proven to have tried to do things to a 13 year old girl and so to me this feels more moral rather than anything i think people should you know should call out edp i think edp shouldn't be a, a walking man because unfortunately the justice system messed up unfortunately he's neither in a registry nor in jail but the thing as civilians that we can do is make sure that he's not living a comfortable life and one of those things is getting men out of the internet because I guarantee you that if people on the internet didn't make a big fuss about the EDP stuff, guarantee you he'd still have a YouTube channel because I don't think YouTube is moral. You know, I guarantee you if that happened, YouTube would have been like, oh, EDP still making his money. Who cares? Keep him on. And imagine how many children could be harmed, you know, making all those millions of subscribers with lots of money, you know, and it's weird that you say you weren't defending him, but yet you were, you're almost like, you almost like ignored the obvious which was the chat logs that you can find easily on the anyways that's it for the video don't really got much to say i just thought it was interesting to put that at the end of the video um unfor unfortunately i think that there's probably gonna be more stuff on adp but i'm just gonna make sure i don't talk about it um unless it's something big like let's say they found him trying to do something again um but you know it is what it is i think it's unfortunate like people like that exist unfortunately it's a redditor you know i'm not gonna bring up stereotypes but you know what you, you know you know what it is. You know, um, but yeah, that was actually my first time ever conversating with someone on Reddit. Funny enough, but I don't know. That's all I gotta say. Uh, you guys, let me in the comments what you think. Subscribe to my second channel. My second channel, I uploaded a vlog there. So there's that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Sorry if I sound tired. Again, very exhausted right now. But thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Ciao. Trapping out like a trap, I do this shit for my mama. Uh. Do you believe in me? Do you even see where I'm trying to go? I can't go back home, nah. I've been left alone for so many times. Grabbed on a microphone, now I'm on my grind. So my life has a puzzle, I got a mastermind. But it wasn't easy, but the fact I nearly lost my life. They ain't have face, so I didn't know belief. I was scared to see, I fell asleep. But now I woke trying to get the map complete. My life's like a game.